Welcome to part one of the Test Drive Unlimited walkthrough. These films will give you a heads up on all you need to know to get by, get buying, and get winning on the Hawaiian highways ahead. With over a thousand miles of open road and potentially thousands of other racers out there, we know you'll be keen to get going. But trust us, spending a few minutes going over the basics will bring big rewards further down the track. So sit back and listen in while we show you exactly why Test Drive Unlimited is racing reinvented. When you arrive at Oahu Airport, you know you arrived. Take a look around as you pass through. The beautiful people are here for one thing only, racing. This island is a playground of the rich and famous, so let's hop the fence and join in. Of course, you're going to need a place to live, and we'll cover that in the next film. But for now, let's concentrate on getting you mobile. First up, you need to find a dealer. Use the handy Earth-style map to check out all the dealers on the island. You'll find a number of different brands of car dealers. And there's also plenty of bike dealers around if you fancy something on two wheels. Choose a dealer, and let's go get us a respectable ride. Hey, don't get me wrong. The rental car you get at the start is okay, and it will get you around. But you'll need something with a bit more power if you want to be a serious player. Check this out. Kid in a candy store or what? All these cars and bikes are for sale, if you can afford them. You can view the stats on each one on the right-hand side of the screen. And, of course, it also shows the most important stat, the price. You can take any vehicle for a short spin to see if it fits. Choose carefully, because there can be real differences in the way these babies handle. This is because they've been created with the help of top car manufacturers like Ferrari, Lamborghini, McLaren, and Mercedes, to name but a few. So if you like the car or bike in the game, chances are you'll like driving the real one, too. If you fancy something a little different, you might like to check out the classic car dealers. They have some old school rides from all over the globe. And while these cars may look like works of art, they can still cut it on the modern street. But be warned, these beauties are rare, and they don't hang around for long, so you have to keep your eyes open if you want one. Or you can use the wish list option to keep tabs on your favorites. And how's this for detail? You can even go inside the car to see if the style matches the drive. And it all works, too. Flick some switches, check the ice, make sure the car really is for you, because you're going to be spending some quality time together. And if you're really sure it's the one, why not customize? You can choose your rims, paint color, and upholstery. Now it's time to do the deal and pick up the keys, because the road's waiting. So it's sweet, it's low, and takes hairpin turns with its morning coffee. But like every true racer, you'll want it to be even more your own. You want to get personal. And on this island, there are some places where you can make your car your car. But a word to the wise, these little essentials don't come cheap. There are high-end performance tuning shops for all rides, and some brands even may offer you intense body upgrades. And if you've got real money to burn, you might want to consider a deluxe paint job. This will let you create a unique look for your car or bike. And as there's going to be a lot of competition on the road, that might be a good idea. That's it. You bought your first car and you're ready to race. Once you've found your way around, you'll see that there's plenty of opportunity to earn more money, to buy more cars, and with the amount of racing that goes on around here, you'll probably need them. There's a whole island out there, and most of it wants to see what you can do. And now you've got yourself a real vehicle, it's time to show them.